Congressman Mike Doyle will not seek re-election. Instead, he says he plans to retire. Doyle is our region's longest serving congressman. And as political editor John Delano reports, Doyle himself says it's time for a generational change. With 27 years in the U.S. House of Representatives, Mike Doyle says he's ready to retire next year when he turns 69. But I believe the time has come to pass the torch to the next generation. At a press conference Monday afternoon, the state's senior congressman said he knew he could win another term, but the creation of a new congressional district required through reapportionment made this the right time for new leadership. The redistricting will change this district and most likely push it outside of Allegheny County. This is a good transition time for a new member to start in a new district. Doyle got emotional as he thanked friends and family. I want to thank my family and friends who have always stood by me. But no one more than my best friend in the world, my wife Susan. There were many times when I was an absentee husband and father during my career. But my wife Susan always supported and encouraged me. And I'm a very lucky man to have her by my side these past 46 years. He was somebody who wasn't there to showboat wasn't always running towards every camera, but he did the job and he delivered. Doyle estimates he delivered over a billion federal dollars to the region from technology, robotics, and artificial intelligence to roads, bridges, and the Civic Arena Project reuniting the Hill District. So what's next for him? We love to travel, uh, so I think we'll be doing that, obviously. In a one-on-one -on -one with a congressman, I asked what's on his bucket list for retirement. I speak uh, a little bit of, of, of French and I want to be more fluent in it. So uh, I thought about language lessons. I play the piano, but not as well as I'd like to. Uh, I think about piano lessons. Travel, French, piano, that's only part of his list. As for his seat in Congress, no surprise, Doyle expects lots of candidates to surface in the weeks ahead. I'll have more on that part of the story Coming up at 6, John Delano, KDKA News.